for what's trending today. What in the world what's is trending? trending? We need to get like a little, um, like a yep. little, ba, ba, da, da, da. like a hashtag. Ba, ba, da, da. Hashtag. Welcome to What's Trending with Natalie what's Morris. What's Trending with Natalie. All right, I'm going to tell you what's cool and happening on the internet, trending on the Google, <laughs> the Twitter, and you're going to be in the know, and maybe participate if okay. you'd like. Ant-Man and the Wasp is trending because a new logo was revealed from the set of the upcoming movie, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, and it, ha- it is a bit odd um, it has people trying to figure out what the writing is. Yeah, what is that? I like this tweet here. Can you click on that tweet? Uh huh. That says, I'm so excited to see Ant Man <laughs> and the Wasp. Ooboo boo boo. Ooboo boo boo. <laughs> so, what's the actual title? It's Quantum Mania. Quantum Mania. Now, the film was previously scheduled for release on February 17th, 2023, but it was delayed five months to July 28th. And, uh, well, maybe I can that's see some quantum, kind of quantum in there. Can I can you? see quantum, Q-U-A-N-T-U-M, but then I can't tell what the last quantum... Mania. Yeah. That, I, I, I don't know. People on Twitter are like, I like graphic design too. <laughs> yeah. I can I see know. quantum, but I don't see mania after it, unless they're using it's the N and the M are the Uba same. Boo-boo-boo. <laughs> I like that. I'm that's, excited for that's this. More I, I, I'm a, I, I loved Ant-Man. I uh, loved the first Ant-Man movie, or the first two Ant-Man. The second one was really good. I love Oh, the and Paul Rudd. Too. You just can't go wrong with Paul Rudd. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Paul Rudd. That's like money in the Lily. bank. That's like yeah, money Yeah, just put him in every movie, okay? Just put him in every movie. All right, Rolling Stone is trending because the ma- magazine published an exclusive today from two organizers of the January 6th Capitol riots. In it, the organizers say that they met with dozens of members of Congress in the run-up to the riots and that some of these lawmakers even offered them blanket pardons if they got in trouble for what it was they were planning to do. They also said they interacted with members of Trump's team, including former White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows. They name other names, specifically uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene, Paul Gosar, Lauren Boebert, Mo Brooks, Representative uh, Madison Cawthorn, Andy Biggs, Louis Gohmert. The two said that Gosar was the one who made it seem like he'd checked all this through with President Trump and threw around the idea of the blanket pardon. Both of these sources say they feel really uh, pissed off at the Trump team because they left them out there to hang after the riots, and they are indeed planning to testify publicly about mm. all of this. Good, get it. Uh, my, you know, my opinion on all of this is let's let's get it all out there. You know, put yeah. it all out there, testify, go before Congress. Now the sources are not named yet. Mm. They say they're planning to, uh, but Rolling Stone does not name the sources. Rolling it's an interesting Stone. read. Yeah. Uh, so go ahead and find it if you'd like. Gunther is trending because the actor who played Gunther on Friends has died. His name was James Michael Tyler. He was 59 years old. He lost his battle with prostate cancer. Uh, Rest in Peace and Rachel and Friends are also trending. Now, I didn't know who this guy was. Um, That one. uh, Yeah. No, I had it in here. I I went through the problem. I went through the... Okay. Clayton didn't watch Friends because he's a Friends hater. Um, But he was the barista. I know. Clayton's a hater. I was that's the only fan and I just kind of that is the only box that I own is friends. Really? Friends is great. I know. And he so Clayton always like misses my friends references because of this. So well, you can say him to me. I didn't realize who I was like, oh, I recognize him now. But I didn't know like what his deal was. So that's the deal was that he had such a crush on Rachel and she never knew she was really clueless about it. So he would like do whatever she said, but she had no idea about it. Hmm. So, okay. So that's Gunther. Yeah. Not not that. The, this guy. That's is, not Gunther. This is Gunther. That yeah. That's is Gunther. Uh, yeah. Channing that's Gunther. Tatum, isn't it? Is, uh, no. That's not. No. no. What's that? No. That guy's name. Paul <laughs> Donovan is that actor's yeah. name? I think. I think you're right. Okay. okay. Um, I don't know for sure at all. I'm just going off the top of my the, the cuff, but I'm pretty sure. I think that she actually dated that guy in real life too. Mm. Okay. Anyway, okay. Um, Bomb Cyclone has been trending after the hurricane-like storm that raged up the Pacific West Coast over the weekend. Hundreds of thousands of people are still without power. So far, at least two have died. The good news is that it put out any remaining forest fires in that area, and it will stop any new ones, experts say. Um, And the Sierra's got over eight feet of snow and will be opening early for the season by two weeks. Um, But it was pretty intense 
Look at that. Yeah. And so there was a big Iron Man competition that you've been like obsessed with this Iron Man. Competition. I have two friends that were trying to do the Iron Man in, in Sacramento and it was canceled. What is at an Iron Man? Night. It is. Um, it's a mega triathlon. So like you 52 miles or something like that. Well, way more than that. It's two and a half mile swim, 112 mile bike ride, and a full 26 mile marathon. Holy cow, look at that. Look at that. I do that every um, Thursday. You right. cannot be on a bike during you, and, this and, and, kind and of storm. A little, little known fact with David, you might not even know this, he only does Ironman competitions in bomb cyclones. <laughs> yep. I mean, look, like what's the, there what's are much the, bigger not, tragedies. You know? Than, than not being able to do your Iron Man, but I did feel very much for my friends who had spent like over a year training for training it. for this and then weren't able to. Yeah, but it is pretty brutal. So everyone down down trees, power outages, flooding yes. areas that don't usually mudslides, areas that don't usually get any rain are getting tons Goodness of it. Goodness gracious! So. Okay, finally, sexually transmitted infection. That phrase is trending, and you probably can guess why. No, that's that's not the oh, right soundbite. That's wrong. <laughs> Doctors in the UK are warning about an STD that is becoming more common. It causes angry red flesh-eating genital ulcers. Those are words you do not want together. I don't oh, know why sorry. they're angry, but I guess it's just like Wait really... Wait a minute, what is that? Gen oh, genitals. now that makes total sense. Right. Angry red flesh eating genital ulcers. This is called Donna Venosis. That's my favorite band, by the way. Donna, okay, don't make fun. <laughs> this could be really painful for some people. You need to stop. Yeah, that's I know. They, not, they, that's why David was sick last week. Yeah, they Will start off happy. They start off happy, but phew. <laughs> those genital ulcers start off happy, and they just get. This they start is not a joke. <laughs> Then they start to get really angry. People are going to be really itchy. And, <laughs> and it actually, like, it's not just that it's, like, funny to make fun of. It is um, it it's is a funny. known risk factor for HIV. So stop. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. Now you have to bring it back. <laughs> now you have to bring it okay. back. Okay. Doctors say in the UK they're seeing about 20 to 30 cases per year, but that's more than they were seeing before. Mm. This disease was more common in India, South America, and South Asia. It's been dubbed flesh eating because bloody filled lesions destroy the skin and then start to spread not just from your nether regions, but beyond. And um, doctors are warning that this is a known risk factor for the transmission of HIV. So be careful. Don't spread it. Yeah, don't spread don't it. Don't get it. Don't spread it. By the way, I love in, in this article, I love that the photos that they chose to put around this, like for the advertisements, by the way, like... <laughs> Like got, are of the nether regions. Right. Like rare flesh eating ST and like here, maybe you want to order some yoga pants, by the way, while you're, uh, <laughs> while you're on this website reading about this. Story. While you're scratching, thinking yeah. about this. Um, I hope this is the last you hear about Donovanosis. Donovanosis, yeah. But um, you heard it here first. Thank you for that. It's like number two on Google well, right now. Poor Donovan. Oh. Yeah. Donovanosis. What? What else is trending? That's it. That's, That's all I it. got for you. Way to end on a high note. <laughs> I told you. That. <laughs> That's trending with Natalie. <laughs> Thanks for subscribing to the channel. You can also become a channel member by going to morninginvest.com slash join, where you can stick it to the mainstream media and support independent journalism. We're able to bring you the stories that you won't see on any of the major billionaire-backed networks. Thanks so much. We'll see you next time, everyone.